Hoy recibí la noticia que anoche falleció Y el maldito hombre y que mucho me dolió En Bogotá, Colombia, la vida terminó Hey Jason A Nueva York me voy Hey Jason Con poder es una forma poderosa de expresión Mi hermanito murió Qué dolor, qué dolor Se lo llevó y ahora para él todo se acabó no I didn't know we were having a party Como él sufrió Antes que se lo lleva Now you know How come you don't pick up the phone? Don't you remember? We used to always know when the other was calling, and we'd just pick up. Yeah. Only you don't pick up anymore. No. How come? Because you're dead. <laughs> oh, yeah, that. Listen, I really like what you did with the website. I want to thank you for keeping it going. But what's with that big eye? I... I don't know. You must be having fun. Yeah, when I'm not trying to figure out why you killed yourself. Everybody needs a hobby, right? By the way, have you seen my book? There it is. Yeah, that's the one. You finally reading this? Yeah, I just started again for like the 12th time. <laughs> Make sure you read it. Wilson Ashcroft. Incredible writer, great book. Adam, it sucks. <laughs> it is a novel of unrelenting horror. Set in the lonely town of Valley Vista, the Harbingers tells a spine-tingling tale unseen evil, an evil that preys on unwitting citizens caught in the grip of a terror most evil. It sucks. Bite me. He's not a reader. He's a land of the slaughter, and he hasn't what it takes to finish the job. Wait, what job? Listen to me. Have fun in Casadega tomorrow. How, how did you know that I was going to Casadega? Hey, brother, it's your dream. You know that he lives there? Valley Vista, Casadega, same place. Wilson Ashcroft, the greatest writer who ever lived. Adam, the guy only wrote one book. So did God. Derek. 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 Hello. <laughs> hey. Come on, time to get up. Time to hit the road. Ugh. Casadega awaits. Oh, my God, don't tell me you're reading this. Yeah, it sucks. I don't thought this guy was the greatest writer who ever lived. Oh, I just had a dream about Adam. Really? Yeah. We were at this party, and you guys were making out and dancing. Sounds like a great party. Yeah. Wish I'd been there. You ever dream about him? All the time. Can I buy this? Yeah, please, get out of my face. Great. Hurry up. Here. Two days worth of clothes and a toothbrush. You packed my bag? I don't understand it myself. Just take it. I gotta go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa. Thank you so much. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> She's packing your underwear now? That's love, baby. All right. Hey, um, you okay? Mm, not really. 
Still haven't had my breakfast burrito yet. Come on now. Close waiting on us. All right. Night falls on the small town of Valley Vista, a Florida retreat for mystics, psychics, and spiritualists, drawn here by the strange pull of a supernatural gravity. They were not prepared for the darkness that lurked beneath. As Harry Dunn walks the empty streets, his shadow cuts the night. He senses the danger, senses it in the flickering lamplight above him. But for Mr. Dunn, there is more than danger. For this town's heart is filled with pestilence and terror, a terror most evil, a terror that Harry Dunn will never escape. And that terror has a name. And the name is Harbinger. You've got to be kidding me. I wonder why that thing's out of print. The guy writes like a bricklayer. Yeah. Look, Wilson Ashcroft is local color, so he goes in the story, all right? Well, let's track him down then. I mean, all we've done since we got here is talk to scam artists who claim they talk to the dead. <laughs> yeah, what we need is a real dead guy. Exactly. How about Wilson Ashcroft? What, he's dead? Yeah, that tarot guy just told me. He also said he used to come here every day at tea time. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> except he didn't drink tea. What? Oh, that's hysterical. What? They named a beer after him. <laughs> <laughs> that's tasty. In honor of the late and not-so-great horror novelist, Ashcroft spent the last eight years of his life standing on a curb in the center of town handing out free Xeroxes of the Harbingers, his one and only book. That's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, that's sad, Merlin. Hey, hi. Oh, hey, hello, Merlin. <laughs> oh, so what exactly is a Harbinger? Invisible creatures. From another dimension, right? Yeah, sorta. They prey on human weakness by digging their hellish little fingers into your mind. That'd make you do bad things. Ooh. So that was Adam's favorite book? Yeah, Adam had bad taste. In books. <laughs> Not in women, oh, obviously. Right, right, yeah, yeah. Come on, yeah, Chloe. Right, yeah. And in food, oh my God. Remember when he made a sort of Renaissance, Renaissance Festival? Festival? Oh my God, beware the of The haggis! <laughs> oh no, not the haggis! Ah! So remind me why we're here again. You know, it's, it's like Mayberry with psychics. No? That's a freaky link, right? Freaky. I guess so, huh? Mm. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Hi, you're the so stew? much lock your doors. Look at that! Oh, <laughs> Derek Barnes, is it down? Wow, you can chew gum and operate that thing at the same time. That is impressive. Oh, very funny, very so funny. You're still working from Alberg? No, I'm out here on my own this time. Why? Just because I happened to mention this trip to Casadega on my website? No, you uh, you get a little paranoid. You know that? Oh yeah, you look kind of stupid. Hold on a second. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. I see something much, much prettier than you. Well, hello, 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 hello. How do you do? I'm Stu Carmichael, editor-in-chief, creepyclicks.com, your premier news source for paranormal news on the Internet. You must be Chloe Tanner. Yeah. Yeah. You know what, Chloe Tanner? You, young lady, really, listen to me. You are much, much more beautiful than I ever expected, which is really no surprise considering Derek's lame power of description in his weekly online rant. Right. Hey, oh, 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 Mr. Tatum, Mr. Mr. Carbuncle. Carmichael. What'd I say? You know what, next time you see Marburg, kick him in the ass for me, would you? Amateurs. You're all amateurs. Yeah, sure, brother. Oh, here's something. Something like a little friendly competition. They do. I think you got a fan here, bro. What, me? Yeah, in the bookstore. Mr. Barnes? Yeah? Oh. He trusted you and you lied to him. You should be ashamed of yourself. Who did I lie to? You step one foot in my store and I'll have you arrested. Oh, 
she she is not a fan. Yet. She called me a liar. She thinks you're Adam. What? She she must think you're Adam, which means she... Adam was here. Adam came to Casadega. Wait, when? Chloe? Did he ever tell you he was coming here? No. Not that I can remember. But he wanted me to come here. Well, what are you talking about? In my dream, he knew about the trip. And if he came here, then when? I think I'd rather know why. Okay, I'm in. Oh, man. I'm looking. You okay? Chief Osceola says yata hey. Okay, if Adam was here, he would have kept a record of it. I need a notebook or a file. Okay. How about a videotape labeled Casadega? Seriously? I'm looking at it. Bring it. Hello? I need to talk to you about my brother. I am calling the police. No, wait, listen. It's, it's not me that you know. It's my twin brother, Adam. Look. Look, we, we really need to know why he was here. Why don't you just ask him yourself? Because he's dead. He's gone. Your brother Adam had a lot of questions for Mr. Ashcroft. Fan questions about the Harbingers. About the story, about why he wrote it. Adam interviewed him upstairs in Mr. Ashcroft's apartment. Your brother absolutely loved his book. Yeah, we know. <laughs> hey, I loved it too. For a lot of the same reasons as Adam. How do you mean? Adam and I were kindred spirits, I guess. We both believed in the simple power oh, of the, the printed, printed word. word. You knew him? Yeah, yeah. Pretty well. Um, so what's upstairs? <laughs> Mr. Ashcroft lived up here for years. I couldn't rent the place out after he died. Too much of a spook factor, I think. <laughs> Who decorates this place? Attila, huh? Every morning, he'd run off copies at Annie's print shop. He, um, paid rent when he could. The town kind of looked after him, I guess. You said that Adam lied to him. What about... Well, he promised to get the uh, Harbingers published again. Adam, Adam told you that? No, I overheard Mr. Ashcroft. He was talking to himself. Actually, he was crying. He was so happy. A few days later, he died in his sleep. It was like he just let go. His book was getting published, and he just let go. That was three years ago. Yeah, a week before Halloween. What? Well, that's a week before Adam died. What happened to all those copies of Ashcroft's book that he made? Everybody in town threw them out after he died. I must have tossed 300 myself. Wow. Well, couldn't sell them. Hey, you guys, check this out. It's old school, too. Looks like it's been modified. Was this Ashcroft's? No. Look. That belong to Adam. Yeah? Hey, I'm at the B&B. Okay, great. You got the tape? Yep, right here. All right, listen. I need you to get online and access all of Adam's accounts back at home on the main server, okay? I need his bank accounts, credit cards, everything. Okay. What am I looking for? Anything that he might have done in Casadega, okay? Um, oh, I told the front desk that you'd be staying in our room. We got the VCR, so just hang tight, okay? We'll be there as soon as we can, all right? Okie dokie. Okay, bye. All right, we gotta go. I'm taking this, okay? Can I ask you a question? What are you, what are you looking for? An answer. To what? A dream.
comes to town and he tells this hack writer that he's going to get his book republished. And use the equipment as some form of collateral? I guess so, right? Pissed about something. Oh my god! Lon's in there! Lon! 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 Where are you? Lon! 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 Check the door. Lon! Lon, where are you? What? I'm out here. Lon, what? Oh, Lon! Hey, you're okay. You? Yeah. Oh my god. Don't do that to me, alright? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Oh. Something very strange is going on. So the sheriff said that the deputy scoped up this motel down by the highway. Uh huh. Still reserved the room, but he never actually checked in. Oh, great. So he's still running around out there somewhere? All I know is, is that we're sleeping together tonight. All right. You wish. Here's Adam's tape. You ready? Yeah. I think we should go. What? This is personal. I mean, if Adam is on that tape, we should let them watch it by themselves. No, no, you guys can stay. I'm gonna go. We'll be downstairs. Casadega reference tape for a Colt research field project. The Harbingers, a horror novel written by Wilson Ashcroft, has been out of print for eight years. He stands there every day from dawn till dusk, handing out copies to anybody who will take one. Yeah. Camera, are you up here? Hey, you. Hey. Is that thing on? Do not get me on that thing. I hate that. No. <laughs> Come on, he's ready for his interview. This is what I won't talk about. You got ten minutes. No booze, no addiction, no ex-wife. I only have one question. The manslaughter charge was dismissed. It's about the book. Movie rights are available, cost us one dollar. Are we through? No. Well, ask already. I got a whiz. Why haven't they stopped you? Excuse me. Why haven't they stopped you? Who? You know who. Turn that thing off. Turn it off! Okay, okay. Ashcroft confirmed everything. Wish I had it on tape. Long couple of weeks in Casadega with a lot of work to do. Oh, um, note to self. Do not forget to get Tamara's phone number. She is a cutie. Tarek, you're gonna love her. She's just your type. And remember to get Chloe's ring. Make sure the inscription's right. Jason, you didn't pack the external floppy. Sorry. I'm sure they're gonna let us watch that video later on. What's gotten into you? There. Read this. You want a sweepstakes? Mm, not exactly. See, my dad wants me to go back to Baltimore and work for the firm. He says if I do, he'll pay me like... Over 100 G's a year, full benefits, and a brand new car? <laughs> Jason, this is unbelievable. Yep. And you're not taking it? Hell no. Being there is like living in the past, you know? Yeah. But, um, what kind of car would you get? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Do you think he's dead? We buried him. 
But it doesn't mean a whole lot after everything we've been through. You know, Adam gave me this ring when he came back from Casadega. It says, Vous et nous l'autre. I'm sorry, but my French sucks. So do your jokes. <laughs> It means you and no other. If he was still alive, he would be with me. But he's gone. And he's not ever coming back. Except maybe in our dreams. That's why it'll never be the same. What? This, what I do. Adam and I were so connected. He would finish my thoughts, I would finish his sentences. We were a team. your door oh um rats big ones right y your friends are having breakfast downstairs they said it would be okay. yeah of course yeah I found this in mr. Ashcroft's appointment book I didn't know what it meant before Adam Barnes well, who's Jonathan Arker what's he a lawyer <laughs> in this town a psychic you want his address my consultation and I'm a little, I don't know, <laughs> I feel like I just stepped through the looking glass and landed in strawberry fields. I see you. Do you like my hat? It protects my fontanel. Excuse me? Fontanel, the soft spot on a baby's head. Some cultures believe it provides entry and exit for the spirit, but not on me. <laughs> You've locked in the freshness. Oh my god. <laughs> That's just what Mr. Arker said. The whole day has been like, ugh. He probably already knows you're here, you know, ooh, blah, blah, doo. What? Ooh, blah, blah, doo. I was wondering when you were going to show up. Drop this. Where am I? Discovery is a pamphlet and Roger was slain. What? I said it's my birthday and I want you to sing. I'm sorry, kid. It's been a long day. You broke that kid's heart. You hit me. We couldn't talk without the proper protection. It's safer here. They stay away from children. Ooh. What you're looking for, Derek, is what Adam found. Right here in Casadega. That's where he found me, too. He figured it all out. Now you gotta do the same. Finish what he started. Finish what? Discovery is a painful and arduous thing. Adam! Wait, he said that on his website. What did Ashcroft tell you about Adam? We spoke of many things, old Wilson and me. He wanted to know if he could trust your brother. Trust him for what? Uh -uh. Your survival depends on discovery. 
I hand you the answer and you'll be dead by midnight. By what? By who? You're not listening to me, boy. There's immunity in self-discovery. Real power. When those light bulbs go off, it's gonna blow all these shadows to hell. Don't disappoint me, Dark. Why me? You're all I got left. You know, I should have made a movie out of this. Would have saved a lot of people. A lot of trouble. I got nothing. Adam made no purchases the two weeks before he died. But I did find this. Ashcroft bought a pretty powerful server and a scanner around the same time that Adam was here. I thought he didn't have any money. Socked it away. I guess he figured a scanner would help him make copies. Why didn't he just buy a copier? And why did you run off without us? Look, Jason, I don't want to get into this right now, okay? Well, will you at least tell us what Arker had to say? There wasn't an Arker. It was Vince. Oh, great. <sighs> oh, that freak is everywhere. You saw Vince? Wait a minute. Vince is here? What did he tell you? Just riddles. I don't know. Look, for what it's worth, Adam had this stuff tricked out for low light. Very specific spectrum. Military grade night vision. Adam was looking in the dark. He was using this to shed light on the situation. Come on, let's go. You can see, Jay. There you go, Chloe. Oh, thanks. Yeah, there you go. So how much longer, huh? Uh, the equipment's old. Still gotta calibrate on lawn. As soon as the sun sets, we'll be ready. I didn't order that. You will. So, who's the lucky guy who doesn't know he's the lucky guy? Excuse me? Your aura is giving you away. Listen, Deepak, I don't mean to be rude or anything, but you are not reading my palm. I don't read palm. I'm already drinking the tea leaves. Bueno, tu amor lo tendrá para siempre. Oh, ahora habla español. Sí, como tus ancestres puertorriqueños. Okay. <clears throat> Can you tell which one it is? Well, one of them has a job offer. Very good, that's Jason. Um, okay, but I know all about that one. How about the other one? What kind of shot do I got? Well, what kind of shot do you want? I heard that. Okay, I'm getting a good image here. All right, let's do this. Yeah. Do you see that? What? That thing on the guy's back. Yeah. Oh my god. Guys, they're real. I don't think this book is fiction. Hold me out here for this. No, wait, look, okay? You see these shapes right here, these shadows? They're harbingers, and they're real. I don't know how, but some way, somehow, Ashcroft created these. What? It's like he was spreading the entire town with this evil, with his book, passing out the free copies. Is he crazy? No, look, listen. Adam came here because he wanted to stop Ashcroft. Your brother was helping him. Then no. he was up there scanning. I thought you were different. I thought you were more like Adam. Wait, wait, Tamara, wait. Well, that could have gone better. 
Jason, do me a favor. Spare me the play-by-play, -play, all right? Ashcroft knew what was going on here, and so does she. Oh, my God. The Harbinger's got to her. Give me the camera, Jason. Look, listen to yourself, man. No, Jason, you listen to me, all right? I am sick and tired of having every decision that I make be second-guessed by you. No. So do me this favor, just one, just one little favor. Shut up and listen to me. And give me the damn camera. Derek, whatever we saw in his camera is probably some type of electronic artifact, okay? A glitch what? No, this was Adams. He knew what was going on. Just listen for a second. Okay, I'm listening. What? Man, you got your head so full of that book. So full of Adam. Did it ever occur to you that whatever's happening in this town is all in your mind? Are you saying Adam was wrong? No, I'm not saying that. What are you saying? I'm just saying he wasn't thinking clearly. And neither are you. <laughs> Derek, you don't have to take that path. Because you got something Adam never had. What? Educate me, Jason. What? Us, Derek. All of us. But we can't help you unless you stop living in the past. You don't get me, Jason. No, I get you, Derek. No, you don't get me. I'm trying to understand what happened to Adam. He killed himself, Derek. He checked out. Why can't you just accept that? I think I'm done here. You know what? I think you're right. Leave my equipment at the hotel. Well, I'll do that. Jason, wait. Please, please. please. This is wrong. Aren't you going to at least Chloe? try to stop Chloe. him? This is all wrong. Come on, we got to get Jason. You lost again. I think you better turn around, boy. I was wrong about Ashcroft, okay? Maybe it's my imagination, but maybe it isn't. But I am here, and Adam was here. Because of a dream? Because of that book. Derek! Derek Barn! Everybody down! What is it? What's what? Lon, get the camera. Stu! 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 Stu, can you hear me? What happened to her? I don't know. Okay, everybody get up. Come on. Over here. Everybody stick together. There's something in here. Okay. Lon, whatever you do, don't stop rolling. Oh my god. Are you seeing this? I can only see it through the camera. I don't see anything. It's fleeting. Okay, freaks. This is the first documented victim of a harbinger. Still? Derek. Derek. Dude, man, I'm so sorry. It's okay. You want to hear anything? Um, I remember, um, chopping a wood. So sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. Derek. What? Hey, look at this. Ashcroft's book. What is it? This is it. This is what saved him. And it's what saved us back at the bed and breakfast. I had this in my backpack, do you remember? Are you saying it's magic? Yes. Ashcroft knew what was going on with these creatures, right, Chloe? Right, he writes about it in the book. It's all in the book. Casadega, or in the book, Valley Vista, is some kind of, um, psychic nexus. All of these mediums and clairvoyance, they create oh, a gateway for the harbingers to get loose. Exactly. This book is the light bulb in the kitchen. It makes the roaches scatter. And as long as the word is out, they can't act. Yeah, but wouldn't people have to read the book? Not necessarily. Almost every religion in the world has some kind of lore about powerful texts. Words that have power simply because they exist. And Ashcroft knew it. That's why he passed it around town. But when he died, everybody threw away the vaccine. 
And now the Harbingers are back. Derek, Adam must have known this text is powerful. That's why he offered to publish it. Damn. The server and the scanner that Ashkoff bought. Oh, man. They weren't copying it. They were going to publish it on the web. Adam was going to spread so much light on this town. That it would send these Harbinger things straight back to hell. So <gasps> where's the server? Ground Zero. His office. You guys go ahead. I'll stay with Stu. Salon said it was a tower server, right? Yeah. The closet. There's more of them. The town's definitely taken an interest. We're gonna need a bigger book. Hey, get that out. here and whatever you do don't let go of that I need a phone line. and my laptop. The hard drive's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Ron, they're coming. Okay, we're almost there. I know, I know. Stop the racket! Can somebody hit Stu with an atlas? Okay, it's loading. Twenty gigs of the Harbingers. 
copy after copy. Adam programmed the server to constantly send chapters over the net. A vaccine for the soul. Lots of souls. Wilson Ashcroft is bigger than Amazon. <laughs> oh. oh, Derek. Okay. Hey. Thank you. No, don't thank me. Thank Dr. Lawn. Oh, I'll send you my bill. <laughs> Hey. Hey. Come on, now we did it. Yeah. I just wish she was here to see it. Maybe he is. <laughs> yeah, maybe he is. Hey, 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 oh, kitty. Whoa. Hey, look at that book. What's with all that server power, dude? Look at that, man. Man's opened up an online bookstore. Okay. An online bookstore? Hold on, an online bookstore. That sounds like something for creepyclicks.com. There's no story here, Stu. All right? Oh, what about all the hullabaloo last night? That was you blowing a gasket. I forgave you. Now go. Come hey, on, hey, go. hey, 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 hey. Go. What are you doing? Come on, knock it off. Come Get on, out of here. Do. Turn it off. So, uh, what should we do with this? You should keep it, man. Put it in storage, you know, a little souvenir. <laughs> you are a sick and twisted individual. You're the one swinging it, brother. <laughs> I do, man. I just want to apologize. No. No, look, I'm the one that owes the apology, okay? You call me on stuff whenever you want. We're a team, remember? That's what we do, all right? We keep we... each other sharp. Right. Yeah. I'll be in the car, all right? Okay. Okay. Sorry, Dad. Scenes from an all new Freaky Links next. Tonight's Freaky Links featured music by Jimmy Bosch. Next week on an all new Freaky Links. We are here to uncover the truth behind the mysterious resurrection of the late XT. Our mission total hip hop immersion. And who are you? Celebrity death freaks? He's still alive, isn't he? Yes, I'm unfinished business, and he's gonna finish it. It's just a publicity stunt to keep XT's name in the papers. You and your friends will be killed if you do not stay away. Go! This is your last warning. 